G'day, today we're going to have a look at a game that will be coming out soon. This one is called Battle for the Crystals. Um, let's jump straight into the tutorial, I guess. Let's see if uh, we can uh, learn what we're doing before we jump straight in the deep end. Okay, WASD to walk around, aim with the mouse and press to fire a spell. Enemies will display a shadow or color corresponding to their vulnerability. Red shadows mean they're weak against fire, green means they're weak against poison, blue means they're weak against ice. Like a fire spell, damages area. Okay, so assumingly that guy is going to take more damage than them. I guess not at this point. Ice spell. I don't feel like I'm... There we go. Okay. Uh, these are called gems. Picking them up, summon random units that can aid you. Command attack. This will order nearby troops to attack the nearest enemy. Command defend. This will order nearby troops to defend their current position. Command lead. This will order nearby troops to follow you and attack nearby units. So it seems like at this point I would think you just permanently tell them to, to sort of follow you. Can I hurt them? No? Good. down. Coins act as valuable treasure, opening the doors to your growth and progression in the game. To get across the map of random treasures that drop a ton of coins, you can also use gold to upgrade in-game stats that will help you in the long run. Go down and defeat the dark crystals and all enemies to complete the tutorial. These dark crystals, dreadful portals that will continue to spawn enemy creeps, destroying all dark crystals is your main objective. These are melee enemies that will you'll run into for close combat. These are ranged enemies that will try and shoot you from a distance. Okay. Well, I don't have to keep clicking. I can just uh, hold down the fire. I am taking damage here from those ranged guys. I guess I can see the little arrows there, so I'm just going to sort of... Hold them walking in circles. Ugh. It's stuck on a tree. I think there are hotkeys for these different things. Um, what do I want? A treant, a resilient guardian with swift movements, focusing more on insurance than damage. Druid, powerful nature, AoE attack, high damage, some priest, agile healer. <laughs> I guess uh, the frost spell is a pretty good one because I'm still damaging that um, center point even with um, even while there was other stuff around. Yes, yeah, so let's proceed to the menu. Let's start. A lot of text. It's kind of bright too, so let's just uh, assume we get it. Defend the sacred obelisk with unwavering resolve and endure until the onslaught subsides. Okay, so I'm defending this point. There's a fire spell. It's just some coins. Oh, we've got the poison spell. And we've got a frost spell. Is there any hot keys? Yes, they are. So one, two, three, four, we'll operate those keys. So let's start with frost. Do I need to venture out here? Rat Kings look like Rat uh, from, uh, let's see, um, Mage and Monsters. So that's a pretty low uh, punishment for dying there. Which, um, it's definitely make it more appealing to me to try and like just chase these guys out. Sort of take um let's just try some different things and let's fight around some of these points okay so they just disappear do they so okay 
Okay, so let's go Ice Spell Damage. How many coins do I have? Where am I reading that? Gold 2 over here. Okay. Next. This time do I not start with my other spells? It's its own little career difficulty. Inside. Wow. Wow, that uh, got me confused. Alright, so I call this one a write off. That was definitely a miserable fail. Also, a fail on my part if I've used my ability to upgrade the frost attack and then don't have access to a frost spell immediately. These guys can stand pretty far back there. Also, I have very little health. Right, I got confused on dying because I came... I Like, the screen won't move any further to the left. And when it spawned me on that left-hand side, I was looking in the middle trying to figure out where I was. Well, this seems impossible at the moment, this level. I, either I'm nowhere near good enough, or this is an absolute beating. So let's have a look at the survival um, version of the game. Especially if I'm not getting my uh, frost spell. Um, jump back to the menu and let's skip through these pages and we'll go start survival. I'm sure that was an adventure I did last time. Again, am I having to just defend the point? I was thinking I was going to get more of like a vampire survivor to like roam around survival. that priest is going to heal that Treant, the Treant would be a pretty good front man to block, but it doesn't look like she is. It looks like she's just sort of following me around. Let's see if the priest just does any healing to our big friend. all the way around. Those red markers, are they the different, like, bases I need to attack? Oh, then there's various, um, um, various obelisks around that I'm defending. Just the most northerly one, I guess. Very big area. I'm not quite sure where I'm meant to be standing. Is there any indication of where enemies are coming from? I suppose I can't walk through water. No. Can I go inside these buildings? No. Then the allies have spawned. Have I lost my tree, or am I just walking way too fast for him? Even the priests are getting hurt and not healing themselves. Well, there's some spells. Hey, I already got the frost one. Alright. Again, like, where are my other enemies? Okay, they're over here. Hey, there's another guy I recognize from, um, Major Monsters. Um, the rats. Hey, Rat Kings? What's the other guy, Rat Kings? Can 
I level up stuff at a point where I'm not leveling up? Like, I've now got enough gold to do that upgrade. So why do I need the cooldown period here? Like, nothing's happening. There's no... Is there any fortifications I can build? Or... So to, to move myself back into a position, but I have no idea where any attacks are taking place because there's no notifications, are there? It's only if I see it on screen that I'm, I'm getting to find out about it. The only arrows are towards things that are mine already. And none of those seem to flash or give any notification when there's an attack taking place. purpose were they my experience I can get to 45 gold then I can upgrade my um ice spell twice I haven't even tried the poison spell yet I really should explore about where are you guys off to something up here. Is that dude? And then you're just gonna stand here forever, exposing yourselves, because there was one guy that wandered too far away. What do I just say defend? No? Who am I telling to defend in this situation? So much gold around. There's so many battles going on that I just am not aware of. Okay. I think this this map is too big to not give me either a mini map to understand what sort of like I'm defending. Or to give me any sort of strategy to the way that I'm supposed to be defending this. Like, I, I feel like I am supposed to be able to move, like, or I'm meant to be moving people, but also, like, I feel like there's that arrow that's to my left at the moment that is my only thing not on, um, not on these front battlements. So is that the thing that I'm supposed to sort of be most looking after. You killed me there, was that range? And there's probably a whole bunch of coins that I need to collect. This guy's beaten up my my house. Do these houses have consequence? Also notice when they flop glitch uh which way they're looking there are um, Health bar flips as well. Nothing wrong with that, just an interesting little thing. I don't even notice if I was doing more damage with my ice spell. And I'm curious actually, am I doing more damage just on the initial hit, or do those like trickle downs also go up one? And I guess what I should be doing with these 10 seconds is walking up and down to see if there's a stash of coins somewhere that I've just ignored. But I also feel like this game is lacking um, where if you look at something like what's a really addictive version of this style of game and, and I'd probably say Vampire Survivors is one of the better versions uh, like better examples of this style but really getting addictive and I think what makes Vampire Survivors so fun is that you become so overpowered hey look at that these guys are just 
constantly spawning in back there. Um, it feels like there should be more that you can do in this game. Like, look at how weak I, like, I don't feel like I'm having that much impact here at all. Um, I mean, I'm doing a fair bit of damage with my hits now. But what would be really fun is, say, attack speed. Um, movement speed as well. Um, I mean, do I feel like playing Vampire Survivors? It's kinda. Is there a fight going on somewhere? I can sort of hear one. Walking up here like, were you guys fighting? You can tell me. Oh, there they are. Arrows indicating, like, I don't need arrows telling me where my, um, obelisks are. It, unless there was something that I could do with them right now. Like, could I heal them? Um, I need to know where I'm getting attacked. And an arrow, a yellow arrow flashing because there is currently a, um, a, a, a fight going on. Or... A red arrow flashing when my an obelisk is being attacked, or just after, say, like if a wave runs for like if a, if a wave runs for a few minutes, and then just like a green arrow to say this is where someone currently is that's that is um still alive, just why the sort of the battle hasn't yet ended. I feel like the ranged attacks are something, like I just died and I couldn't tell you why. I think the Minotaur hit me, but there was a pretty big gap between where I was and where the Minotaur was. I'm doing some decent damage these days though. Also kind of sucks that I will finish a, a level like a, a wave, I'll level up, but I... Then spend, get to spend 15 seconds collecting coins, and now I can't level up. Either I'm missing the level up page, or um, I need... It would be cool to flip that around, that a wave finishes, you've got your 15 seconds to collect stuff, and then you can you get the choice to level up. Or you can just go back to that menu, um, which possibly you can, I just haven't figured it out. Um... It's an Umber Hulk. I am... Um... Now I'm doing 4 damage. I thought I was doing more damage before. It's just he's got a lot of shields, or... Yeah, there we go. Now I'm doing a bit more damage. There's also very little consequence for dying here, that it doesn't seem like it's a threat. I mean, I also am dying incredibly easily. Um... Maybe there's a great example there. I've died a lot of times without being able to tell you what I did or why I died. I'm not saying the slow duration is any sort of benefit, and just that I don't understand why. Um, just tell all you guys to follow me. Let's really get cozy. Are these guys still coming? Yep, good. There's necromancers.
because there's also no real, like, health regen, even the priests don't seem to regen either their own health, and I guess only mine, which of everyone on the map is the lowest consequence of anyone's health. Um, if there was regen or I sort of, like, had some sort of more attachment to guys I was summoning, that would be cool. Like, say, if I got to have a Treant, and that Treant had a name, and that Treant could level up, even if I couldn't control him. But I sort of felt like I had lieutenants out there that were um, really making a difference in this battle. And what, what just happened? What killed me there? 20 seconds to do what? guys still following me? Are they attacking? Yeah. yeah. Am I causing all of those three drips or is that actually these guys doing damage? No, okay, so their damage shows the same as mine so I can't tell what I'm doing versus them. I don't, I, I want to clarify too, when can look, saying things that I feel like are off with this and then using Vampire Survivors as an example. I'm not saying recreate the game Vampire Survivors. I'm all for, the, obviously, the logic of if I like Vampire Survivors, then I could play Vampire Survivors. That's not what I'm wanting here. It's a, um, something like Mage and Monsters, I think, is a great example of a game that I don't think that there is something that that is based on. That is just a, a really simple game that has used textures in the same way that this game has used textures. So just nice, easy things, but has come up with a, a design of a game that is simple, unique, like, and its own fun little thing. I just feel like here there's something missing. That I'm... There's, there, nothing feels like there's any weight involved here. Like... I'm on wave 10. I don't feel like I have no strategy to apply to anything that I'm doing right now. I'm just sort of standing in the thinnest point because strategically it doesn't look like the enemies are doing anything different. Like I don't need to worry about defending those higher and lower points because the only time an enemy seems to have attacked a lower point was from the inside. Like, I guess we're getting like this sort of barn down the bottom here that's now gone. And I guess that's there's consequence to that, but Did I already die? Damn. There's very much a feeling of like, have I lost yet? I also realize I've completely forgotten to look at the shadows of anyone, see if anyone actually has any um, immunities. I assume that someone must because uh, there's the guys that I'm hitting for like 12 while there's the guy I was hitting for 4, so he must have been immune to something. But I don't think there was immunities, I thought it was more that your um, uh, there's some there's abilities that you take a bigger shot from. Let's see, so these guys all don't like fire. I mean, I don't think there's any point in changing what I'm doing, because my fire isn't as good as my, um, or are they only immune, like, do they only take damage from fire? Am I burning my own friends here? Let's not do that. There's a dragon. He doesn't like ice. Like, 
this wall right here that is now gone, and I walk through it, I don't know where I am right now. These guys are all walking backwards, so it's like, wait, so is this the second line of defense that... Nothing's even reached yet? Alright, well I reckon I might call that one there, so let's have a nice little look. 557 kills, units spawned, gems picked up. Uh, gems pick, pick up a... Just a, a quick note with that, it should be... The ED should be after pick, not after up, so it should be picked up, not pick it up. Uh, 19 deaths, total damage 31,000, normal spell damage 4, I spell damage 7, based on how much money I've spent that seems really minimal. Um, movement speed 3, so was movement speed a thing? I can scroll down? <laughs> Alright. And um, allied gem spawn chance 11%. Okay, is that a thing down here? That was a thing down here. Alright, uh, nice bare bones of a game there, but, uh, but I think missing something to, to give me any drive to, to come back. Any uh, questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.